Can we tenderize a steak using an ultrasonic cleaner? Here is the steak that we're gonna be using. Now I'm cutting both pieces from the same chunk of meat. That way, any results that we get, we know are from the test that we ran and not because I just happened to choose one steak that was better than another. So now I've got two almost identical cuts of steak. These are literally like butterfly. They came from the same piece of meat. They're cut to the same size. They're cut to the same thickness. And this is a pretty good looking choice grade steak. I'm not doing a prime or wagyu because I want this test to be on something where it will actually make a difference. So now one of them is going to go in our ultrasonic cleaning machine for six hours in a vacuum bag. The other will also be in a vacuum bag and also be in water just sitting there. The two steaks, vacuum sealed, ready to go. One will go in the ultrasonic machine, the other will just sit in water. I am going to periodically be adding ice to both of them to keep them cool, just about refrigerator temperature. And uh, this machine can only run for 30 minutes at a time and it's not great for it to run continuously. So I'll be adding about five minutes of a break between each cycle. Uh, but overall, we're going to have this run in the cool water, not cooking, for six hours. This one's just gonna sit there in a bowl for six hours. Okay, for some reason, the small machine that I have been using decided to just die on me. So I've got, it's the same thing, a little bit bigger. I'm going to make a compound butter to use in cooking it on the grill later. So I've got some very nice and soft butter. I've got rosemary, garlic, and then some salt and some pepper. This butter doesn't have any salt in it, that's why. So let's chop up our rosemary. All you chefs out there, feel free to mock my knife work as much as you like, that's fine. What? The two steaks, one that's just sat in some water and one that has been pummeled by tiny little vibrations of water approximately 864 million times. And we need to find out if that's gonna make it more tender. This is the ultrasonic steak. I've labeled the bags to avoid mixing them up. So it's time to add seasoning and I gotta say, just handling them, the little that I have, I do think the ultrasonic steak feels just a little bit softer. Not like a lot, but a little. Well, we're gonna season these guys up. We're gonna use salt, pepper, and garlic powder. And then we're gonna throw them on the grill. A huge thank you shout out to all of my supporters on Patreon, you guys rock. If you want to join my amazing Patreon supporters, the link for that is in the description. The steaks are cooked and rested. They are looking and smelling amazing. So the one with the thermometer in it is the one that did not get the ultrasonic treatment. The other one did. I'm going to slice them up and then my cameraman is going to put them on plates, mix them up so I don't know which one is which, but he does and I'm going to see in a blind test if I can tell which one is which. Mm, that looks a little on the overdone side to me. However, it still looks edible. There's still a little pink in that, but not as much as I would like. Can't tell any difference just poking them. So, 
ultrasonic, not ultrasonic. Here it goes. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh, burn bit of, all right. Piece of steak. Really good flavor. It is a bit overcooked, but I like it. That's good. And it's decently tender as well. The other one. Same flavor, so both good. Try another piece of each just to make sure. I think I'm starting to form a, a result in my head. To me, this one seems more tender. Cameraman, without the mark on the plate. Is that the ultrasonic steak? Yes! <laughs> so there you go. It is different. It's noticeable. It's not crazy super noticeable to the point that I was like, oh, it's falling apart. This one's a million times more tender, but multiple different pieces, multiple different bites, different parts and sides of the steak. This one did feel more tender. What I really like about that is that this is something you could do ahead of time. You can just put things in the machine, get them ready, and then just leave them vacuum sealed in the refrigerator until you're ready to cook them. Mmm, pretty good. So my final thoughts about the ultrasonic tenderization of steak. This is the third time I've tried it. The last two, I tried cooking it in the ultrasonic machine and it worked all three times. All three times I could tell the difference. This was my first time using the ultrasonic machine while it wasn't being cooked. And while it did work, I think that the two hours during the sous vide cooking were actually more effective than the six hours in the cool or cold water. So keep that in mind if this is something you wanna try, but I am glad that I tried this. This was recommended by comments and suggestions. And so this is something I've been curious about for a long time. Now I know, it does work. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe.